Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today we're going to take a look at the updated line of condenser microphones from Mojave Audio. Now, Mojave Audio has been around since about 2005, and their microphones have been very well received because of their outstanding sound quality and the outstanding value that they provide. So what they changed is not the sound of the microphones, but the look of the microphones. In fact, in the words of Dusty Wakeman, the president of Mojave Audio, we couldn't make them sound any better, so we made them look better. Let's take a closer look. As I mentioned, Mojave Audio was founded in 2005, but in fact, the company dates back to the mid-1980s, and there's a famous name behind it as well. David Royer, who we all know for his ribbon microphone designs for Royer Labs, was working in his garage modifying gear for studio pros and recording studios in the LA area. He was also working on condenser microphone designs, and those microphones were very well received. In 2005, Mojave Audio was officially launched to offer his condenser microphone designs to the world. The first of those microphones to come out was the MA200, which we'll take a look at in just a little bit. When David sits down to design a microphone, he has a very specific sound in mind. So he specifies the components for exactly that microphone, and in fact, they go so far as to use custom-made resistors, top-quality FETs, and very high-quality transformers. In the tube microphones, they're using new old stock tubes. They're sub-miniature Joint Army Navy tubes, and they perform very well because, again, they've been specifically designed to work in the circuit for that microphone. Each microphone is burned in for 24 hours, and then David Royer himself listens to every single microphone and puts it through a battery of tests for quality assurance. Let's take a look at the Mojave Audio microphone lineup. Again, these are all condenser microphones. Some of them are tubes, and some of them are FET solid-state microphones. But the core goes back to the original MA200 that was released in 2005. Now, I've owned a pair of these microphones for almost 15 years, and I love them on just about everything. They're great on vocals, acoustic instruments, electric instruments, on piano, on orchestra. You can use them just about anywhere. The MA200 is based around a Joint Army Navy 5840 sub-miniature tube that David uses in all of his designs. It features a hand-selected 3-micron gold-sputtered 1-inch diaphragm, so it's a large diaphragm microphone, and it's based around a Jensen transformer as well. Like all the Mojave Audio microphones, the MA200 comes in a great case. It includes a power supply, a cable, and a shock mount as well. The MA200 makes a great core microphone to base your microphone locker around. It sort of has a U67 sort of a sound to it. It's a little bit mid-forward, but it also has a nice open, airy top end as well. It's a nice clean microphone that very faithfully reproduces the sources that you put it in front of. It has a nice strong proximity effect when you get in close, so it's very versatile. Next to the MA200, we have the MA300. Now, the MA300 is closely related, but adds some additional features. First of all, we have a 15 dB pad, and we also have a bass roll-off switch, and these both increase the versatility of the microphone. But what really sets this microphone apart is that it has a continuously variable polar pattern from Omni to Cardioid to Figure 8, and you can remote control the setting for that polar pattern from right on the power supply for the microphone. Like the MA200, the MA300 is great on vocals, but it's also excellent in a wide range of other applications because you can vary that polar pattern, so you can change how much of the room and how much bleed you're getting from the sources around the source that you're trying to record with the mic. Moving to my left, we have solid-state versions of the MA200 and the MA300. This is the MA201 FET, and this is the MA301 FET. Very similar features here, but these are based around a solid-state circuit rather than a tube circuit. The MA201 FET is a cardioid microphone, uses that exact same 1-inch gold-sputtered diaphragm. It has a little bit more of a mid-forward characteristic to it. Great for kick drum, great for bass guitar cabinet, but also good for vocals. It's not quite as much sibilance on the top end, a little bit rounder on the top end. So it's an awesome microphone as a complement to the MA200. If you need those switchable polar patterns, the 15 dB pad and the bass roll-off, the MA301 FET has those features that are brought from the MA300. So this is really the core of the family here. We have tube versions, we have solid-state versions, we have straight-ahead cardioid microphone, we have switchable polar patterns, pads, and roll-offs, and you can choose among those to get exactly the sound you want for your mic locker. On my far right, we have the MA50, which is one of the latest additions to the Mojave Audio lineup. Now, this is a transformerless microphone, so it has quite a different sound than these other microphones that we've been looking at. It doesn't have quite the same bottom end to it, doesn't have quite the same top end, but it's a nice, accurate microphone that works well in a wide variety of different situations. It's cardioid only, and has that same hand-selected, one-inch gold-sputtered diaphragm that the other microphones feature. On my far left, we have the flagship of the line, the MA1000 tube condenser microphone. Now, David Royer sat down and took a look at the 251, which is a very famous tube microphone used on tons of recordings we've all heard through the years. He didn't want to exactly duplicate that microphone. He wasn't after creating a clone, but he wanted some of the characteristics of that microphone. The very open, airy top end, the smooth mid-range, and a big bottom end that could be controlled with a bass roll-off switch, as well as a 15 dB pad. 
This microphone is outstanding on vocals. In fact, if you ask Mojave Audio about the applications for this mic, they'll say vocals, 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 and it really does sound great on just about any vocal. But it's also awesome on acoustic instruments. The way it opens up that top end is really beautiful. It works well as a room microphone, a pair of these on pianos is simply stunning, a pair of them on acoustic guitar is simply stunning. This is a microphone that works well in just about any situation. One of the defining characteristics of the MA-1000 is the transformer that's used inside. This transformer was custom designed by David Royer and is manufactured by Coast Magnetics. It really imparts a sonic signature to this microphone, particularly the bottom end. Other features include a 15 dB pad, a bass roll-off switch, and continuously variable polar pattern that can be remote controlled from the power supply. The microphone comes in a beautiful wooden presentation case inside of a road case, comes with the power supply, a Mogami cable that has Neutra connectors, as well as a custom designed shock mount that comes from Royer Labs. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the updated lineup of Mojave Audio's condenser microphones. Same great sound quality, but now they look even better. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, or start at Sweetwater for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.